It started near downtown Indianapolis, under Interstate 65, when a homeless heroin addict named Robert had finally had enough. I was strung out on drugs, and, and, and I, I was sleeping on that bridge. But I, I said to myself, uh, man, you don't, this, ain't, this is not you. Robert Mall went looking for help, and he found it at the Metro Baptist Center. We open our doors and invite people from the city to come in, and we help them with food and clothing. And Robert came to a block party that we had about a year ago, and he was saved that day. God has a plan and purpose for your life. Tom Pollock is a North American Mission Board missionary. He runs the Metro Baptist Center in Indianapolis, and he pastors the church that meets there. The next day, Robert was in our church service, and he, he began to come every Sunday, and he's been very faithful. Amen. Amen. It was one of those Sundays that Robert Mall heard Tom talk about Annie Armstrong, and Robert decided to give to Annie the only way he knew how. Well, what can I do? Well, okay, cool. In my spare time, I'm going downtown, and I'm going to pick up pennies. So Robert spent weeks searching sidewalks and gutters for spare change, and when he was done, the man who has almost nothing gave it all, more than $25, to Annie Armstrong. The offering came from me of saying, what can I do for God right now? So uh, uh, I'm picking up pennies. I sort of had that feeling that, that he was really giving a lot. And uh, he's, he's really been quite an encouragement to me to, to see what God can do in a person's life. I'm in a unique position to not only benefit from the Annie Armstrong Easter offering, but I'm very supportive of it. My family gives, my church gives to it. You saw a person like Robert who took that challenge seriously. Robert went out and, and collected his nickels and dimes and quarters to give to the Annie Armstrong Easter offering. And um, just want to thank you that are watching this, this uh, film that uh, you too are interested in, in what we're doing here in Indianapolis and around the country, and I'd just like to encourage you to give. We depend greatly on the offering, and I'm just so grateful that my family and I are able to serve here as missionaries on behalf of Southern Baptist in Indianapolis. So thank you all for giving. On behalf of the uh, Foreign uh, Mission Committee, we'd like to thank you for giving so far. If you haven't given yet, we have four more Sundays to go, and to make our goal of $10,000. Eight on the best of you, we have a display there. We need eight more lights to make it our goal. We have two lights so far. So far, we have $2,276, and we need every bit of it to uh, go to our home mission. And the uh, mission committee would like to thank you for that. And uh, if you can give what you can, we appreciate it. Thank you. Amen. Well, let's stand. Let's continue to worship.
Ashton Brock is our Deacon of the Week. He is also our missionary to the Chesterfield Jail, where he is this morning conducting the service. So I'll be praying for him, but pray for Ashton in this ministry that he's undertaken. Let's pray together. Father, we love you. We thank you for allowing us to be one of your children, to lift praises to your holy name. We thank you for all that you do for us. We come to you this morning to give back to you just a portion of what you've given to us so faithfully. We pray that you would take this offering and the tithes of your people and multiply them to allow us to accomplish all of the ministries that you have placed upon our hearts that we'll be able to serve you here and all around the world that people would come to know Jesus Christ through the gospel as it's presented here and around the world. Bless our gifts today now, Father. Bless the remainder of this service. Bless the message. May it touch our hearts. May it draw us to you. We ask these things in the powerful name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 